joining me right now is a Zimbabwe Rugby Sevens uh, player, Kuda Chiwanza. Uh, we're going to be talking about the upcoming uh, Zambezi Sevens Challenger Series, which is happening right here in Harare uh, tomorrow. But before I get into that, I know you're a Man United fan. Kuda, good morning. Welcome good morning, uh, to Morning <laughs> Rush. Man United, Bayern Munich drawn against each other. How excited or scared are you about this particular fixture? I'm not scared. Eh? I think the boys are picking up nicely. Um, so hopefully we can come up with a win. Uh, but you never know. <laughs> Soccer is a game of two halves. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be quite interesting. And, you know, my co-host Andy's just popped out, but, you know, he thinks Arsenal are going to go all the way. <laughs> to, no, and no, they tried last year, uh, last season, but, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, yeah, they don't have the finishing touches. Yeah, they're, they're chokers, basically. Yeah. He's being polite. <laughs> but anyway, let's, <laughs> let's come back closer to home. Uh, let's talk about what's happening uh, tomorrow. All Georgians is the place to be. And for the third year running, we're having this Zambezi Sevens Challenger Series. You know, it's an exciting tournament, I think. I think last year we saw uh, Germany coming through. This year we've got uh, two Zambian teams, I think, coming through. We've got Spartans from Botswana. We've got a very heavy uh, Zimbabwean influence. And then, of course... Uh, the cheetahs. I think there's two cheetahs teams: they cheetahs green cheetahs, yeah. and cheetahs white. white. Yeah. And then uh, we also have local clubs. I know you're going to be captaining uh, cheetahs white. white. Uh, you've been part of the cheetahs setup for such a long time. Maybe let's let's start there in terms of uh, well, before we actually we, we actually hear from you. So I think our, our producers have a clip of. I think this is one of the, the, the circuits. Uh, when you when uh, Kuda was playing and he had this amazing run and I think we've got that clip we'll just watch that briefly so that you see some of the magic you can weave on the pitch and then we'll come back and we'll start uh, talking about that. Oh, Zimbabwe. Kind of pass through the middle, good work from the try scorer Kataveria, but this time around finding a lot of space as Chiwadza Chiwadza the try scorer that was uh, Kuda Chuanza in that Cape Town series. Uh, you're quite speedy there. I mean, we were joking. Andy was joking with you when you came in. As he's, he was expecting someone a bit more <laughs> bigger. But, you know, the, that's the thing about seven. I think it's more about pace and your agility and skill. Uh, you know, that's your preferred format in terms of rugby, uh, sevens? Actually, I really love 15s, yeah. uh, you know. Um, but then the position I play in 15s is just literally the same as me playing sevens because yeah. I'm at the back um, defending and I'm also running with the ball and creating spaces for everyone else. So 15s is the best for me, but sevens is a, uh, a good challenge, which I've always enjoyed. I mean, you've had quite an interesting career, especially yeah. uh, in Sevens. I think you've been to the World Cup in is it San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've won the, the Africa Cup with the Cheetahs. Yeah. You know, you've been on uh, the different seconds. What are some of the highlights for you when you look back at your, at your career in terms of what you've been able to do and achieve uh, with the Cheetahs? Yeah, oh, I think uh, World Cup. Uh, I think uh, the World Cup, uh, just qualifying for the World Cup. And also winning Africa Cup, uh, you know, we rarely do that. Um, last year we came second, um, and then the years before we third or second, you know. Um, so it was very a very nice touch when we won the Africa Cup. I think that my biggest highlight will be the World Cup. No, n no human being, uh, no more human being can get to go to the World Cup. And you, you got to experience that. Yeah. Uh, so, and then, obviously, looking ahead to the Zambezi uh, Sevens Challenger Series, which is taking place uh, this weekend, I know you're going to be uh, captaining uh, the Cheetahs White team. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that? Because, obviously, I think this is part of preparations for the Olympic qualifiers, which are going to be held later this month in Harare. Uh, Cheetahs Green, Cheetahs White, maybe explain to us the difference and what you guys, as the Cheetahs, are trying to achieve in terms of your objectives for, for this and maybe the level of competition that you guys are expecting to face with the Zambian teams, uh, Spartans from Botswana, as well as some of the local club sides? Yeah, I guess with the, the two Cheetahs teams, um, it's just more competitive uh, competition, you know. Um, the boys, uh, everyone's fighting for a jersey to be in the green team. Um, 
and just to also see different combinations with the guys who are in the green and the white. Uh, we've got some fairly young kids who are now coming up who are in the uh, white team and then a few senior players who are also in the white team who are trying to mould those kids. Um, so it's... Uh, sevens is going somewhere. It, it will be definitely be going somewhere, I guess, with the structures that they're putting in and the, the time and the investment that they're doing for that. Um, yeah, with, the, with those, um, the Olympic qualifiers, it's a tough one. But I guess the boys will get some wins and uh, see us through. Uh, if not first, hopefully second, and then we can go to the repi charge um, later on in the year. And yeah. And then obviously looking at uh, the competition that you guys are going to face. I remember last year I think it was Spartans uh, from Botswana. We ended up going all the way and winning it, and they've got a huge influence of uh, Zimbabwean players. You know, how exciting is that for you guys to be playing against uh, such a team where you'll be very familiar uh, with a lot of the players and, you know, do you think this time uh, around, whether it's green or white, the cheaters can actually get the better of the Spartans? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the whites will be playing Spartans, so it will be a very interesting game. Um, they, they don't know our secret weapons. They don't know the young blood that's coming in. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see how the, those kids mold into a challenging environment against the Spartans. Uh, since they, they've won it once, um, the second edition, they didn't win it, but they were in contention for it. So it's sevens is a game of two halves. Eh? Uh, you can play very well first half, and then second half, the, um, the other team can wake up and they can score as many tries as they want. And then obviously, obviously fans, who obviously, when you go to the Sevens tournament, it's also a festival kind of atmosphere for fans because it's almost an all-day event. Maybe just uh, just dangle a carrot, maybe, uh, for our viewers at home. Like, hey, man, I want to see what I just saw. Uh, could I just dazzling and <laughs> running throughout the pitch? Uh, what can fans expect at all Georgians tomorrow, not just from the cheaters, but from the tournament as a whole? Yeah, the, the vibe, I think the, a good environment. Uh, sports always brings people together. You know, you never know. You might meet a friend or meet new, make new friends. So it's always it's always just a good vibe at at any sports environment. I know when we travel overseas to Hong Kong, Hong Kong, that whole stadium is just one corner is just packed of just party guys, and then the other guys are just watching uh, rugby. So we could have something like that here in Zim, where guys are just partying and having fun, and then. Uh, other guys who are serious and really want to know what's going on at the rugby, they can be focused. No, so a, a little birdie told me that you know you've got some big news to share. I think you know something is happening in terms of your career. You know, can we get you to spill it today, or you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, um, yeah. Unfortunately, this will be my last uh, tournament. Um, I'm hanging up my boots at the tomorrow. End of tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough decision, but I think 13 seasons of playing national team, both 15s and 7s, it's been a really good, good ride. Um, my decision has been influenced by a lot of things with the setup and also uh, I think building on with my future. Um, rugby wise, I don't really see much in Zim, um, but also building a family and um, creating s something different for myself um, that's not in the rugby um, environment. Uh, and before I let you go, obviously, obviously you've had such a fantastic career, the World Cup, you know, playing for Zimbabwe for such a long period. Mm. Uh, what do you want your legacy to be when, when people uh, talk about uh, Kudachiwanza and Zimbabwe Rugby Sevens, and uh, yeah. Hey, that's a hard one. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just hope that um, they'll remember. I think there's a lot of talent there that's coming up, and 
some might say, I know he's better, this, but then I just think, you know, I think the good that's been done, that I've done, um, hopefully will be remembered. The things that I've done hopefully will build up the younger generations, you know. Um, not because now that I'm ending rugby doesn't mean that it will be the last of me helping or being involved in any rugby circles, um, just taking a break. All right. Uh, so if you want to see uh, Kuda in action uh, for the last time, remember uh, the Zambezi Sevens Challenger Series on at Old Georgians uh, Sports Club tomorrow. Uh, several teams taking part, including uh, the Cheetahs Green and White. We've got two teams from Zambia, Spartans from Botswana, and some of the top Sevens clubs from around uh, Zimbabwe. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, wish you all the best uh, in your future endeavors, and thank you uh, very much for coming through and joining us on uh, Morning Rush. So, yeah, the Kuda actually wants are there and I think we can sign up for that clip again of him dazzling through the pitch so that we can entice you we can dangle that carrot uh, for you to come through and watch him in action for the very last time after a storied 13 year career oh, Zimbabwe yeah, pass through the middle good work from the try scorer, cut to Vera, but this time around finding a lot of space is Chiwadza. Chiwadza, the try scorer.